What's up YouTube, Craig Peters here, and today we're gonna to be talking about probably the most popular guitar technique ever, the sweep. Now when talking about sweeps, I'm not talking about this kind of sweep, or even this kind of sweep. We're gonna be talking about this kind of sweep. So over the course of the last 17 years that I've been playing guitar, damn, 17 years? I'm getting old. I spent a lot of time trying to hone in and refine the way that I do sweep arpeggios. And it's not the easiest technique, it's the easiest one to sort of maybe half-ass, but it's not the easiest one to get down properly. Now with sweep picking, it's definitely for me one of those techniques that I need to practice all the time because if I don't, it'll show. Now over the course of the years I've been teaching guitar, one of the things that I always get asked from students is how to sweep properly and how to sweep cleanly. So today I thought I'd make a video on my five tips for how to sweep like a pro. Now if you already apply these techniques, that's awesome. Now if you do something different than what I'm about to show you in this video, but it still works for you, then that's awesome too. Alright, so getting into it, tip number one, left hand muting. So when it comes to sweep arpeggios, muting is probably one of the biggest and most important aspects of it. Alright, so when it comes to muting with the left hand, basically the way I approach it is I use the tip of my index finger on my left hand, and when I'm fretting the note that I want to play, I'm using the tip of my index finger and I'm sort of wedging it under the string above the fret that I'm playing. And then I'm using the bottom half of my index finger to slightly rest on the strings below the note that I'm fretting. So it sort of acts as a mute. And basically I'm not using this as a bar, I'm basically just resting on it, sort of like if you just laid your hand on the guitar just to keep it quiet. Tip number two, we're gonna be talking about right hand muting. All right, so the way I use right hand muting in conjunction with left hand muting is as I'm moving up the arpeggio, I'm using sort of the long portion of my thumb or the side of my thumb or I guess your palm or the meat of your hand or the meat of your thumb. And what I'm doing is as I'm slowly going up and I'm getting to strings that I can't mute with the tip of my index finger anymore, that's where this comes in and I start to slowly use the portion of my thumb to mute those notes as I'm going up, still using my index finger to mute any of the strings that are below the note that I'm fretting. So by doing it like this, you really sort of isolate any of the problem areas that you might get when it comes to getting noise or extraneous noise from uh, playing. And you can use this too with any other techniques, uh, and it's also just a good way to clean up your playing and also just get a cleaner sound overall. All right, now on to tip number three, we're gonna talk about pick slanting. All right, so if you're wondering how this applies towards sweep arpeggios, pretty much as you're doing all your consecutive down picks, you're gonna be angling the pick sort of more slanted down towards the floor, and then when you're doing all your upward consecutive sweeps, you're gonna be slanting the pick upward sort of towards the ceiling or just more up than you normally would. And this sort of gives you uh, the proper angle that you're going to be needing for doing sweep arpeggios. All right, so on to tip number four, we're going to be talking about following through. All right, so tip number four is probably one of the most important tips of all of them, as it kind of takes your left hand and your right hand and sort of syncs them together. So as you're picking each note, you're going to pick the note, and then the pick is going to rest on the next string that you're about to play. And by doing it this way, it sort of sets you up and gets you ready to play the next note and gets you out of that habit of doing that individual pick stroke thing that a lot of people tend to do that sort of screws them up in uh, being able to play arpeggios at a faster pace. So if you have that problem with individually picking notes for sweeps, uh, this is definitely a good way to get you out of that habit. And this is something that you can also practice even without the use of your left hand. Now for the final tip of the day, we're gonna do tip number five, alternate picking. So if you're sitting there and you're wondering, why is he talking about alternate picking when the whole thing is about sweeping like a pro? Well, one is that you're gonna be benefiting your alternate picking by utilizing it in arpeggios, but two, the most important usage of it is that it's gonna really help isolate your left hand and make it to where you fret the arpeggio notes way better and cleaner in the proper way because you're gonna be isolating it a lot more and you're gonna really learn with your left hand and getting that muscle memory down of how to fret the notes right. So this is something that's good to do even before you start working on sweeping, just to get your left hand in gear and really get it working uh, in the proper way that it's supposed to be mechanically. So if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, so thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys soon.